Welcome back. Welcome back. Driving uh, anger. Today I got a few um, uh, modifications for my car. This is uh, the second bits. Um, nothing special. Uh, these these cars, for whatever reason, didn't come with a, a tow hook. And and of course, I'm getting ready to track it here in on the twentieth um, of this month. And of course. If you're going to take it to the track, a tow hook is, is pretty is pretty essential, right? It's um, they wouldn't let you on the track unless you have one. And so I purchased these from um, ZL1 add-ons, and this exactly uh, is the one that fits my car. Perhaps I should have went with a yellow, um, maybe the same color as my um, brake calipers and my seat. And even the stripes that I ordered for the car but I feel maybe the, the red might I don't know give it a little bit of a contrast or something in addition to that I purchased these um, uh, the bolt-on uh, premium jack points um, I remember with the Camaro the uh, ZLE I had four of those jack points that I placed or installed at the bottom of the car so it makes it easier to jack it up and lift it up without destroying the undercarriage or certain essential components on the bottom. And then of course, to go with the um, with this tow hook, I have this um, GoPro action camera uh, mount. And that will help me to get some footage from the perspective of the tow hook on the front of the car. So I'm interested in seeing what the footage is gonna look like um, once I mount a, a camera on this thing when I do uh, my track events. So anyway, yeah, so these are pretty simple things to install. I'm gonna go ahead and install these and then um, get this beast ready for my first uh, track day on the 20th. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this thing drive on the track. I mean, it feels so stable and so steady already and I have not driven it uh, in anger yet, but definitely looking forward to that first um, track event with this thing and then I'll have a better assessment as far as how it handles in relation to the, um, the ZLE. The ZLE like I said was a monster on track but we'll see how the ZLE handles, um, how this handles in relation to the ZLE. So let me go ahead and install this and then I will um, um, show uh, after it's installed. So yep, I finally got the um the tow hook installed, and um, it also has the um, the GoPro or action camera mount at the top. I'm gonna I'm charging up the battery right now on one of my action cameras. I'm gonna um, attach it to this um, this camera mount and see what it looks like, what the footage look like. I'll use it also on the track um, in a couple of weeks when I go to ECR. There's also another piece that I'm gonna get. Um, <clears throat> it's called the, uh, the catalyst, the Garmin catalyst, which is supposed to help with um, you know lap times. It's supposed to be able to analyze your driving style, steering inputs, braking, efficiency, and things like that, and make recommendations as far as you know um, braking later, braking earlier, turn in sooner, carry more speed through the uh, through the corners. Uh, track out it's supposed to be able to do those kind of things. So that's something I'll get but that's probably a little bit down the road um, after I've taken this thing to the track uh, enough times to um, To get close to My own limit and then I could uh, see if I can get some additional coaching from from some other Yeah, so today was just about installing the tow hook and installing the um, the little hockey pucks underneath the um, the car so I could jack it up easier without damaging the undercarriage or any part of, uh, of the car. I noticed some, a mark, a line here on my brake, on my rotor already. I'm not sure what the hell that is, um, but I think I'm gonna take the wheel off and um, I'll take out the brake pads and see if there's some kind of debris on the pad that is causing this. Man, I don't want to have to change rotors already. I just got the thing, I haven't even tracked it yet, and already there is this line. 
I had the ZLE for two years. Never any issue like this. And all of a sudden there is this right now. It's a little bit concerning to me at the moment, but I'm not gonna let it uh, bother me too much. Time to go give it, give this car a bath. It's a little bit hot now here in Texas, so I'm gonna wait until the sun uh, sets a little bit. I have this, uh, this Sun Joe um, pressure washer system here, electric pressure washer. I'm gonna use this for the first time in conjunction with my um, detailing kit here with the two bucket uh, solution. I mean, two bucket approach to washing the car. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit um, messy here, at least in this corner of the garage. I'll, I'll sort that out, but anyway, uh, thanks for um, tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. And know that I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a lot of modifications to this car, and as I modify it, I'm gonna film what I can film and add it to the, the channel. I'm definitely gonna add video. Um, now, everything might not be, you know, groundbreaking, this is just my chronicles through my journey in this, in this game. And I love cars, love automobile. Um, aiming to get a Z06 to replace this at some point. But until then, this is what I have. This is what I'm gonna enjoy. And this is what I'm gonna do, whatever modification I need to do to it to get even more <laughs> enjoyment out of it. Anyway, again, driving anger. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, see ya. Cheers.